this is how we're going to do it in our own garden. What we're going to do is we're going to use our little trowel. By the way, kids love calling these guys shovels. They, but we want to teach them the right terminology, so this is a trowel, little shovel. So let's say we're in our garden bed now. So usually what I'll do is I'll say do a little line, okay? So we're going to do three, four little lines, okay? And each child is going to say, oh, I want to have my own piece. Uh, you can encourage that, yes or no. Um, and so I'm just going to wiggle the soil around a little bit. But you'll notice I'm not digging a big hole or a big trough in our soil. And you're going to tell the kids to just do this. You don't want to them to start scooping and flinging soil around. But you do want the soil just loosened up a little bit. Okay? Just like this. This works. All right. So once again, you'll notice I haven't had this big mound. So we're going to start with our biggest seeds. So you're going to place them one, two, three, and four. And, you, and we tell the children, you got to space your bean seeds one finger length apart. Okay? And they'll do this. They'll measure. Okay? Then we're going to put our lettuce seeds. And it's kind of tricky to do that in the garden. Oops. And so sometimes you end up with a little clump, and that's okay. But you try and tell them to take their time and space them out, okay? But this is where you go through 4,000 seeds, okay? And then our spinach is going to be like this, one. Spinach is easier, it's a little bigger. Kids love big seeds, absolutely. Why not? Adults like big seeds. Okay, and then those teeny tiny little arugulas. Right, let's get them in my middle. Once again. And kids will say, oh, I'll get dirty fingers. I'll get dirt in my mouth. And I say, yes, that's good. It's extra minerals for you. You need to have soil in your mouth. It's, it boosts our health, makes us feel better. Okay. So once again, so now I've sewn these just on top. So I say to the children, take your finger and push it into the soil. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Now, just get some soil from the side and just sprinkle it over top, just like you did with the in your containers. And your seeds are not going to be too deep. And then, of course, the next step is take your hand and just pat, 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 pat. And then you're done, ready for the rain to come and water it for you.